Welcome to Natural Skin Care School. It's uh, Victoria, the one in here again. In this video, I want to share with you how to preserve natural skincare products. Natural skincare products, if you want to say it's all natural, can be preserved with natural preservatives. So how do you preserve your natural, let's say for, for now, let me use this lotion that's at the that is uh, the cool down phase for you. For example, if you are done making your lotion and this is your lotion, for instance, how do you preserve it? To preserve your lotion, you need to add a preservative at the cool down phase. The cool down phase is the phase when it is below, below 40 degree, okay? This is a place when it's below 40 degrees, so it's good to preserve at this stage because most preservatives are sensitive to it if they are above 40 degree they will not work it may have destroyed the properties so if you use them below 40 degree like after 40 degrees celsius you can add your preservative uh, a very good preservative that i use in the natural uh, sector is geocard ect geocard ect is used at 0.6 percent to 1 percent but mostly I use it for maximum effectiveness at 1%. So what I will do, if I want to preserve my uh, lotion, this lotion with Geocard ECT preservative is, I'll add, add the preserv the 1% of this preservative, okay? So I won't add a couple of drops. I'm going to take my scale, weight, and put on tear, okay? Then I'm going to add 1% of geocard ect preservative okay so hard one percent it's very important that you had one percent because uh, overusing your preservative can uh, cause a lot of uh, skincare issue or a lot of stability issue so make sure you use it at the recommended rate by the supplier or the manufacturer by the manufacturer of your preservative so you had one percent i think it's more than one percent right now it's just acting up on me so i will not uh, just add one percent if, if you are using geocardicity add one percent during the cool down phase and uh, mix it thoroughly mix it thoroughly <coughs> excuse me after mixing it thoroughly, after that, you have to make sure you check the pH of your lotion, okay? Make sure you check the pH of your lotion. Remember, the pH, uh, recommended pH for using Geocard ECT is 3 to 8, okay? 3 to 8 pH, so it has to be between 3 and 8. So make sure you check the pH of your lotion to make sure it confirms to that. If you want to learn how to check the pH of your lotion, look in the description box below for a link on how to check the pH. I showed that extensively on this channel. I even showed you how to uh, reduce or increase the pH of your skincare products. So after this, make sure you check the pH of your skincare uh, lotion. I'm using lotion for example here. Make sure it conforms to the pH of your uh, preservative. For natural preservative, we use geocardicity. It's a very, very common. It's a um, broad spectrum preservative that, you know, work that tackle mold, yeast, and bacteria. I've used it over, for over, I mean, for several years now, I've used it with no failure whatsoever. So geocardicity is a very good preservative that you can use. It's also called preservative echo, okay? You can use and once you use it, and you check the pH, okay, using your pH meter to make sure it matches that of uh, your recommended pH, just as you are saying it here. Once it matches that, you are good to go. So for instance, now this lotion can be, can either be, you know, 5.5, it can even be five, but it cannot be less than three, okay? I always make it safe if I have to, if I'm doing a product that has to be an exfoliating product, for instance, that has to be acidic, highly acidic, I make sure it's between the pH of four. I don't go less than that because anything can happen, okay? So I always make sure it's at least if I'm making exfoliating products, for instance, if I'm making, um, what do you call this, uh, a very, very um, exfoliating lotion, 
I've forgotten the name, <laughs> just escaped my mind right now. Uh, HA lotion, for instance, exfoliating HA lotion, which has to be the pH of 4, right? So I can use this preservative easily and I'm good to go. I just have to adjust it to make sure it's at pH of 4, right? So that's, but if I use the uh, Geocardi CT right now and the pH is maybe 3, it's still not really, really good. I have to make sure the pH is at least 4, okay? And it uh, cannot be more than 8. And no lotion pH should be hit. That, that's a mess, right? So, and that's about it. If you have any question about preserving your natural skincare products, feel free to drop that question in the comment box. That's what I do best on this channel to answer your question, answer your inquiry, and give you my own um, advice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. On this channel, I teach you you know smart ways smart tricks to make great and stable natural skincare products and to fix all the issues that you might have in your formulation journey so if you want to improve in your formulation journey you want to grow together with all of the like-minded uh, formulators that have already subscribed to this channel feel free also to click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload video or new videos thank you so much for watching